Welcome back to the Code Circus. Today we are going to look at Boolean operators. They're not all that exciting, but <clears throat> they are essentially at the very most basic level how a computer works. Computers work on switches, either on or off, one or zero. And as we're going to see in the rest of this module, in order to make decisions, we need to base all of our questions on essentially yes or no questions, true or false questions. So we're going to start at the very basics is how to design some trues and falses combined together, uh, what they actually mean inside of the computer, and uh, how we can use those later on to do some uh, math operations and uh, what does a computer actually see. So let's dive right in. So we're going to do this all in the interactive panel right here, the shell. The first thing we need to talk about is what is the actual true and false. And really it's as simple as just typing true. So true and false. Now these are built-in English words for us. The computer doesn't actually use the words true or false. What they use are numbers, one and zero. And in fact, we can see this because if I take true and add five to it, I get six. True plus five is six. That must mean true has a value of one. And if I take false and minus one from it, I get negative one. That means false must have a value of zero. And in fact, I can add true plus true together. And I get two. So true and false um, are the ability uh, to translate to the computer the ones and the zeros. So I can test whether or not something is true or false. But what's more interesting is sometimes we want to test multiple conditions. And we do that with operators called ands, as well as an operator called an or. So let's take a look at that. A true and a true results in a true. That means both things have to be true for the answer to be true. So if I were to do a true and a false, that's a false because only one of them is true and the and means both of them have to be true. And order doesn't matter. If I do false and true, the computer says false. Now, the second one executes a little bit faster because as soon as the computer sees the false and knows that it's an and, it doesn't actually even have to check the second part because it knows it needs two trues in order to make a true. The other Boolean operator that we're going to look at is the or. True or true. It's true because only one of those two things have to be true true or false is also true because only one of those two things have to be true. And then false or true, again, only one of those things have to be true for the result to be true. There's one last operator that we need to talk about, the not operator, not true. Well, this returns, whoops, the opposite of our Boolean operator. I can't actually um, get the computer in this state to evaluate. I think I can do a print statement. Print not true. Let's see if that works. No, it still gives me a syntax error. So the only way I can use this is within a conditional. So we'll talk more about those conditionals, unless I'm using an uppercase. There we go. Not true. There we go, not true, false, lowercase n for not. Sorry about that. So not true will give me a false. It's the opposite of true. Not false will give me true. So this gives me the opposite condition.
Now, I can also use um, these Boolean operators in comparisons. So like if I say 3 is greater than 5, that's false. 3 is not greater than 5. If I say 5 is greater than 3, that's true. I can say uh, 20 is equal to 6. Whoops. 20 equals equals. That's the symbol they use for an equal sign comparison. We'll talk more about that later, but it's an equals equals. 20 doesn't equal 6. So for comparing two values, we use an equals equals. If we're assigning, it's a single equals. If I put these two things together, if 3 is greater than 5 or uh, 5 is greater than 2, that's true. Even though 3 is not greater than 5, 5 is greater than 2. And remember, we only need one of those things to be true for it to be true. So the computer can actually execute other comparisons, inequality comparisons, to determine whether or not something is true or false. So we're going to be using these operators to do some tests. In the next lesson, we'll look at conditionals and use those conditionals to try to make some decisions with the computer. That's all for now. I will see you next time.